Hi, it's Florian. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the experience trap. So what do you need to know about this trap, which is basically catching every one of us at some time point in his career? Um, it's actually a trap that is based on the uh, perception that the experience is something different than knowledge is. So there are two things that you have in life, when in your engineering life, and one is the knowledge that you acquire due to learning, due to studying, due to having seminars or going on some training courses or reading books, watching YouTube videos, all of that gives you knowledge and it increases your knowledge uh, portfolio. Uh, but then there's something else which is experience. So once you have acquired this knowledge and then you use it over time, you get experience um, with due to projects, due to uh, things you just do. You see what is working, what is not working, which things that I learned are, are better suited for specific problems, which are uh, not so suited for specific problems. You will get experience about how to estimate stuff, about uh, things that worked out in the end, things that didn't work out in the end. And that is something you acquire automatically. And whenever you ask someone, uh, do we have experience in, I don't know, programming C++, uh, or programming something else or in some kind of simulation program or whatever, then what you actually ask is, do you have knowledge in this program? And do you have experience when you used it? But a lot of people mistake their experience with knowledge. So there are definitely a lot of guys who do C++ for quite a long time or C for quite a long time. So have a lot of experience but they lack the knowledge because they mistook the experience that they have for actual knowledge. They lack the um, capability to train themselves further and further ongoing. And the trap then comes in quite quickly because after university you have a lot of knowledge and not a lot of experience. And the more you work, the more experience you gain and the less um, important it might seem to you to gain more knowledge or to gain knowledge in other disciplines or maybe other programming language, other simulation tools, whatever. So your experience tricks you. But it doesn't mean that if you have a lot of experience that you're really good at something. It just means that you did it for quite a while. And uh, that is something you should be very clear and that should be very clear to you that the experience that you have might trick you into believing that you're actually good at it, which might not be the case or which might have been the case in the past, but now things moved on. There are other technologies, other programming languages, other simulation tools that you just didn't look at because you said, my experience tells me that the stuff that I'm using right now is exactly what I will use in the future. And uh, that is how you see yourself. So what you always need to do when you are working as an engineer or in some technology, some field of technology is that you need to balance the knowledge that you have with the experience that you have. And you should always hold yourself um, to some kind of standard where you say, I know I have experience, I know things worked out in a specific way five years ago, ten years ago, but maybe things changed. Maybe now my experience is tricking me into believing that something is, is working or not working out, which is not true anymore. I see that all of the time. I see people going into this trap all of the time, uh, either by believing that the stuff they learned is actually um, suitable for a lot more things that, that, that it actually is. So for example, programming languages, you just need to ask yourself, why are there so many? And uh, the reason is, of course, that not every programming language is suited for every problem that you want to solve. But of course, if you, for example, can program C, you can solve every problem with it, but it's just not efficient to do so. And the more knowledge you have, and it's not experience, the more knowledge you have about different programming languages, for example, the easier it is for you to figure out which one is right and then enhance it with experience so that you um, get even better. So two things come in handy. One is knowledge, one is experience. Both are interlinked and you should never sacrifice one for the other. So you should never think because you know a lot, you have a lot of experience, that's wrong. And you should never think that because you have a lot of experience, uh, you have a lot of knowledge about the field. That's also wrong. And you, you go into these traps all of the time. So um, what is important is to be aware that this trap exists, especially if you lead people, because if you are leading people, what happens usually 
uh, is that you were experienced in something because you you usually don't start as a leader you start as an engineer and then you get experience in some kind of field and you're good at it and you're good at uh, good with people and then they, then you get promoted to to a higher level and um, you still can't get rid of the experience that you have but you don't acquire more knowledge usually in the field that you have been working in so people will get better and more knowledgeable in the field that you come from and you need to be aware of that so you need to be aware that the experience you have is still valuable but the, your knowledge will decline that happened to me so i was a very good uh, embedded software engineer i'm i still can get an embedded software engineer if i would like to but i would have to acquire more knowledge because things moved on since i moved into, into a management position and i'm pretty sure that um i i just don't know enough to um evaluate all the modern stuff with a, with a deep level of knowledge. I have a deep level of experience, but I, I try not getting tricked by it. And I hope you also uh, try not getting tricked by your experience, especially if you have been working for a longer period of time. That happens very, very quickly. Always be careful, always be mindful, and always uh, reflect what you are doing and try to gain knowledge so that it keeps up with your experience. That's it for today. Uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it really, subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Goodbye.